and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over the 1030 content as of Thursday, guys. As you guys know, every Thursday we get signature series cards, occasionally some news, but there is no promo just yet or any series four news just yet, so we will not be getting any of that news today. But we do have the signature series cards to go over now. We did get the two announced already. One's a 49er, one's a Raven. The 49er and the Raven I'll go over as we get into the video, guys. But signature series is typically an exciting day. It's more exciting than heavyweights, flashbacks, and veterans, at least. Now, they have better stats, they're better overall cards. The only issue with them is that they're LTD. So you do have to probably pull them if you want to actually use them off the rip. But luckily for us, with all the cards being a lot better in the game now, LTD prices don't really hold as much as they used to. When it first started, these LTDs would go for base minimum, like a million coins, no no way around that. Now, once Series 4 drops enough, they'll probably end up coming down a little bit. I don't think these cards will be introduced as Redux cards, though, because they are coming out so close to Series 4. So I don't know when the cutoff date for the Series 4 Redux uh, cards are, but I don't know if these will make it. But if they do, that'd be pretty cool. But if not, their prices won't hold up too much unless their stats are amazing. But we're going to go over all their stats and check that out. Now, guys, as you guys know, it is the 25 days of Poogmas, which isn't really 25 days. It is pretty much the whole month of December. Daily giveaways. I will be announcing the giveaway winner. If not today, tomorrow. I'm a little behind. I have to go scroll through like thousands of comments and go pull those. But guys, the giveaway still continues today. All you got to do is enter. As you guys know, today's um, reward is going to be again 30K. Rewards will be increasing as we go throughout the months. So today's reward is still 30k. We will eventually increase the bigger rewards, coin, um, gift cards, PSN cards, currency, whatever. We'll slowly work and make our way up. Now to enter today, as you guys know, you have to subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word that you'll hear throughout this video at some point, and also like the video. Once you do those three things, comment down below your console and the secret word, and you're entered to win. Now, like I said, I didn't want to make the sub to win, but the thing is, a lot of randoms from online are just coming, coming for the giveaways and then leaving, and I feel bad. I want to give back to the fam for Christmas. I don't want to give back to some randoms. So as long as you're subbed and you're a supporter of the channel, you like and comment, you're entered to win. Now let's get into this video. Let's head over to Twitter to check out the first signature series card stat. But guys, some Series 4 info was also announced. Series 4 will be coming out next Friday, which should be about the 13th. So I don't know if the Christmas promo will be out already. We do not know, but it will be coming out next Friday. Um, that should be about the 13th, I believe. And also they will be announcing like 48 Series Redux cards. That's quite a few LTDs coming back in a Series Redux card. So stay tuned for all that. And next Friday, so we do have something to work off of, so we have an idea, so make sure you're getting all that stuff done by then. I'm going to toss it into the Signature Series video. Hope that helps you guys. All right, so the first card is Brandon Carr, Signature Series LTD for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, he does not have a power-up card. You guys probably know Brandon Carr as formerly as one of the Cowboys' better cornerbacks of uh, their team back in the day. Now, I could be wrong. Was Brandon Carr the one that got mossed by Odell? I feel like that was him. It wasn't Morris Claymore. I think it was Brandon Carr got mossed by Odell for Odell's one-handed catch. I'm pretty sure that the catch that made Odell famous, I'm almost positive it was on Brandon Carr. If I'm wrong, go crucify me in the comments. Now, he's got the, the lock and chain archetype, LTD. No power-up, obviously, because I don't think he had a basically coming into this year. Now, I think at some point they will eventually introduce power-up cards for all these uh, signature series cards once they do, but they have been releasing power-ups at a much slower rate this year than usual. I think last year they introduced them more frequently, but we probably will get a new power-up set, a bat, well, new batch of power-ups at some point in this game, which should introduce a lot of the LTDs as power-ups, because power-ups are important. Now, some of these cards, at least Madden's done this right, they allowed that you can get some cards, their abilities without actually powering them up, but to still get Sprinter, Shaker, and all that stuff, you do need to get them powered up, so that does kind of limit a card's potential, because that, that's the beauty of Madden now. A card may look like this on paper, but with cams, power-ups, abilities, shaker, John Madden, you can make almost any card that you want that's near good, pretty great. So that's the one thing that holds back a lot of these LTD cards that might not have power-ups just yet. Now, let's go over stats. He's six feet tall, so that's a, that's a good height for a cornerback. It's not too tall, not too tiny, somewhere nicely in between. 88 speed's a little low, but Brandon Carr's never really been a speedster. 92 Excel is great. 86 agility's a little low. I kind of like agility in my cornerbacks for them to be able to you know, change the direction, just keep up with guys, and even run back the ball, and they pick it. 88 jumping's decent. 93 play rec is great. 90 man is great. 87 zone is great. And 97 press. He's going to be a physical as hell lock point. If you put him with Nitro and Lane together on the same team, they're going to hold receivers at that line for quite a while. Now, let's say you could you could still cut him up, right? You put If you put lockdown on times three, plus John Madden, you could get his zone above 90. So he'll have the zone threshold. They'll already have the man threshold. They have the player threshold, and he can get his press to a 99. Now, if this card was able to be powered up and chemmed up and everything, you could easily get into a 90 speed, 94 excel, almost 90 agility, 90 jumping, like a 96 play rec, 93 man, 91 zone, and like a 99 press. This card would be amazing. This card would be phenomenal. 
powered up. Now on a theme team, on a Baltimore Ravens theme team, he's gonna be above 90 speed, like 94 excel. On a Ravens theme team, he's gonna probably be the best cornerback on a Ravens theme team, and on a, in general, on a Ravens theme team, probably one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Not a bad card at all. The speed's a little bit low, but if you do power, if you could chem him up and everything properly with John Madden, and you can get his speed up a little bit, you could make him, he would be very similar to uh, Night Train Lane, minus maybe the agility and the take back of like an interception and that kind of stuff. But this card does look pretty great. I really do like this card, actually. Not bad at all. The speed's a little low, like I said. Now, hopefully, they do introduce a new power-up form in the next batch of power-ups, which would make this card really, really great. Now, see, what I was saying before about price not being too high, this card actually has really good stats, so his price probably will remain decently high, despite me saying that. I, I, I did say to you guys, when their stats are pretty decent, they will retain value for quite a while. Now, the next card's going to be a 49er card. We're going to go over to that in just a second, but this card so far, pretty good drop. I really do like this card. Now, let's get over to the next card. Secret word for today's video is Santa Claus. Comment down below Santa Claus, hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below your console and the secret word, and you are entered to win the giveaway. Okay, so we are over on Mudhead. They did release Kyle Juszczyk. If I said that name right, I'm sorry if I did not. 93 overall fullback for the San Francisco 49ers. Got the cool signature of him right there on the thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I do not know what his archetype is. I'm gonna have to read it here somewhere at some point, probably down in the bottom right. So he's a 93 overall fullback. Pretty cool, actually. Kyle Juszczyk typically is a really solid fullback card. Quick sells for 250,000 coins. Use this item to complete a step on this player's power-up item. Now, I think he does actually have a power-up, so this one can be powered up. Let's just make sure before we go into this, before I start talking about his power potential. Pretty sure he does have one. Kyle Juszczyk does have a power-up, so that makes this a lot easier in terms of what he could potentially get to. So he has 81 speed. Solid speed for a fullback. 87 excel. Solid excel. 84 agility. Great. 79 strength. A little bit low. 89 jumping. 892 awareness. So that's all solid right there. Now, ball carrier moves. He's got 92 truck. Great truck. Going to be a great fullback dive guy. Will he be as good as Christian Lacoye? Probably not, but we got to check that out first. 77 elusiveness. Not great, but again, we're not really looking at elusiveness on a fullback card in terms of her make or break on this card. 91 ball carrier vision solid 87 stiff arm really good 80 spin move 83 juke okay so that's actually pretty solid on a fullback card again i think akoi is probably better but we got to see what the block is that's looking like 85 carrying 76 break tackles that's pretty solid receiving 80 catching 79 catching traffic 79 spec catching 84 short route running 68 medium route running 60 deep route running so this card actually can run short routes which is pretty solid because typically fullbacks are not great at doing that he's better than most running backs at receiving so he's kind of gonna be he's gonna be a tight end type build in reality, when you look at it, he's going to be like a tight end, a kind of tight end, multi-versatile kind of guy in the backfield. Now, blocking. 77 run block is kind of ass. 69 run block power, not great. 66 run block finesse, not great. 69 pass blocking, not great. 49 pass block power and 46 pass block finesse, not great. Now, 95 lead block and 80 impact blocking. So here's the thing. If you do a pitch with him, he's going to put someone on their ass. But he, if he has to hold the block, he might not hold it so well. So, I don't know how that works, right? So, I don't know, in my opinion, would I prefer a run block or a lead block? It depends, right? I don't really see too many pancake blocks this year, so I can't entirely say that that lead block just completely is just overpowered. But now, here's the thing. So, like, if, if you do a pitch, right, and he picks up, let's say, Von Miller on the outside, if he pancakes him, you're gone. If he has to hold that block, he might get shedded pretty quickly. But he is fast enough to get out there and lead up enough to where you can make a move, because that's the issue with fullbacks. Like, Corey Schlesinger is too slow. So, when he lead blocks, when he gets there... If they get any slight shed or reach elite, I get tackled. The bright side of the Kyle Juice check is that he'll get around the corner a little bit faster and he'll cut up field faster and at least hit them a little earlier so you can make a move off of them, which is like if anyone played football in real life, you know, and, and when you get the block five yards ahead before you get there, you can cut off of him, which is especially with evasive, I just, I'll leave, I'll leave the guy game breaking. Now, if they're too slow like Schlesinger, he just meets him at the line of scrimmage and then I have to either take an outside angle, but I can't cut it back in. So that's kind of one of the bread of benefits for him. Now, as far as it goes with Christian Okoye, I think I'd rather have Okoye in reality because he's got, Okoye's faster. He's just as good as a ball handler. He's got similar receiving out of it. No, probably not similar receiving, but the run blocking is way better. Now let's see what the traits are since you guys have been asking me to show the traits. And to, by the way, to power him up and stuff, if you did power him up and chem him up, you probably get close to like a 99 lead block, which would be pretty insane, not gonna lie. Clutch, no. Brace for all hits, yes. Fight structure yards, yes. No, no, no. Make silent catches, yes. And high motor. I just want to real quick show you guys Christian Okoye comparison so you guys can at least get an idea of what I'm talking about. Christian Okoye, trucking, ball carrying, stiff arm breaking. So all of his ball carrying stuff is better minus Juke. He's way faster. His lead impact blocking and run blocking is not better as a whole, but he's way more well-rounded. So in my opinion, I think I'd rather have Okoye when it comes to run blocking 
But if you're going to be lead block and you just want that guy who can just run up the middle and pancake someone, he could, I don't know, I think 99 impact blocking could get glitchy. I mean, lead blocking, I don't know yet, but that could get pretty glitchy, especially with the impact and the lead. We have to obviously see how that'll work. But I'll send over to the man screen to finish out this video. All right, back on the man screen. Let's see if they are up. I doubt it, guys. They typically aren't. But that is about it for the video. Oh, Brandon Carr right there, 1.5 million coins. That, go figure on that one. Now, guys, before we get into this video, remember, this is the 25 days of Pood Miss. Hopefully, you guys heard the secret word already. If you did not, go back and check it out. All you got to do to enter the 25 days of Pood Miss is go down below, comment the secret word, like the video, and hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to give back to the fam, so let's keep this going. As we get close to Christmas, I will incorporate gift cards. I will incorporate higher coin rewards. I will be announcing the winner today, probably on Twitter. Actually, I probably want to announce it on a video, so make sure you follow me over there, because I already pre-recorded most of my vids today, and I have not had a chance to pull the comments. I was a little busy. So I'll probably announce the winner on Twitter, or announce it in tomorrow's video. I'll announce both winners tomorrow. The first winner, which was Mark Hawkins, did already collect his coins. I did already purchase his card. He will probably, he can show proof of that if you guys don't believe me. And we're going to be running this all Christmas, so stay tuned. Smash that like button, comment the secret word, hit that subscribe button. And once you do those three things, comment down below your console and you're entered to win. And you guys, I will be picking one video per day, so make sure you're going to every video and doing this so that you have four enters. You pretty much entered four times for your best chance of winning, or three videos if I do three. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.